All right, today's video, a review of the Vivitar VXX14 snap a pic 20 megapixel digital camera. Take selfies because there's nothing more important in life than taking selfies. If you're a guy and you're over the age of 25 and you take multiple selfies a day, of random stuff like you pretending to be asleep. You're not really asleep. If you took a selfie of yourself pretending to be asleep, that's not cute. That's freaking weird. If you're younger, I'll give you a pass. You know, you're young. You know, you're, you're trying to impress the girls, but I'll, I'll give you till after 25. After that, it's kind of weird if you're taking selfies. Not a cool weird, creepy weird. It's okay for female to take selfies. It's a girly thing to do. That's not a sexist comment. Girls girls like to be beautiful and there's nothing wrong with that. All right, that's a whole nother topic. So uh, let's continue on with the camera. This is the last camera I used. Polaroid IEX29. I really like this camera a lot. $60. It was pretty good, but I dropped it from a pretty substantial height. Or chipped it somewhere like this corner right here but yeah it's uh it's erratic now i could no longer well, turned on right now oh, there you go screen's white so yeah turned on but it's not working it works sometimes but this is not going to cut it anymore user error my fault if these cameras look familiar it's because you've seen them in the budget camera section of walmart $60, $40, 18 megapixel, 20 megapixel. So in theory, this one should be as good as this one. I hope for 20 less dollars, I don't buy expensive cameras because I dropped them. Right now I'm filming with my cell phone. So let's go ahead and set this up right now. Hopefully it has a battery included and it doesn't run on. You know, triple A's or double A's. I didn't even read the box yet. No, package. Okay. I didn't read the package when I got this. It takes uh, three triple A's. I happen to have some triple A's on me. If this camera is any good, I'm going to buy some rechargeables. This is, uh, I guess, a screen protector. I could take this off. See, they're taking selfies, but at least they're with their friends. Nothing wrong with taking pictures with your friends or your pets or your car, whatever. But dudes over the age of 25 taking selfies, yeah, that's kind of freaking weird. Okay, took that off. Uh, it uses uh, SD cards, not the micro ones. This one uses micro SD cards. This one uses the full-size ones. So since it takes AAA batteries, I could use it right now. So let's try it out right now. Okay, I'm filming my cat here. Let's see how this looks. Where are you going, buddy? Hey, come here. Let's see if you can hear him purring. I have, a, I have a feeling this camera's gonna suck. It looks, it looks crappy through the viewfinder. Just like the other Vivitar I got, like I reviewed a while back. The twenty nine ninety nine one. This one's like ten dollars more. I don't think it's any better. Just looking at this viewfinder. See, look at the plants here. My cat. Okay, let's see how that looks on film. On screen, I mean. Let's see the quality. Okay, after reviewing the footage that I filmed, I have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised. I did not have high hopes for this camera. I mean, I, I said it in the, in the video. I have a feeling this is going to look like crap because it doesn't look good through the viewfinder. But the actual footage looks good. Looks pretty good. So I will use this camera for now. Pick up some rechargeable... AAA batteries. I already have the charger. I'll use this for a month or two. And if it survives a month or two, if I don't drop it and it survives, I'm picking up another one of these Polaroids. I really like this camera a lot. 
and uh, it's inevitable that I'm going to drop it. So, you know, I'll have this as a backup if it survives the next month or two. So when I get another one of these Polaroids, the cool thing is now I'll have two batteries. Since this battery is still good, I'll have two batteries at all times. And then this as a backup, but I'll use this for now. So from now till I buy another one of these, I'll be using this, this camera right here, Vivitar VXX14. If you have $60 though, I recommend this one. But you know, if you're careful with your money, this one's pretty good for 40. The kind of channels I run here on YouTube, I don't need the highest quality cameras. I, I don't want them to totally suck, but as long as they're all right, I'm happy. That's all I care about, and this one's pretty good. All right, everyone, kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.